Before we start talking about the weather rock, let's get everything set up. First, we need to lash together three sticks to make a tripod, and we'll start with a clove hitch. Be sure to leave enough slack as you tie them so you can push the legs down and then create the tripod. Once you've got that all set, hang your weather rock and you're ready to go. Now we'll then need to observe the rock to see what type of weather we're seeing. Dealing with wind speeds, if the rock is slightly swaying, the winds are light in between 5 to 10 miles per hour. With a medium arc, the winds are up to 40 miles per hour, and if it's standing at 15 degrees to one side, we've got gale force winds. But if it's at 90 degrees to one side, head to the cellar, there's a tornado in the area. Now, really looking at the rock, if the rock is cool, dry, and easy to see, it's an overcast day. If it's warm, dry, and easy to see, we're seeing some clear and fair conditions. Now, if it's wet on top, you might be seeing a few light sprinkles, but if it's dripping water, we're seeing some heavy showers. And if it's cold, white, and hard to see, it's snowing. If the rock has melted and the rope is burned, there's a volcano erupting nearby, and if you're seeing two rocks, you might want to check your coffee. Now, you can also listen to the rock, and if it's making noise, it may be haunted or or you may be haunted. Now, in all seriousness, I've learned a few quick sayings in the scouts that do hold true, like red sky at night, sailor's delight, meaning the following day will be dry and pleasant. If smoke hangs low, watch out for a blow, meaning that when a low-pressure system is in the area, campfire smoke will not rise very high. And when dew is on the grass, rain will never come to pass. And that's because dew usually forms on clear and cool nights, meaning that sunshine is ahead for the day.